The carousel mechanic has been around on Teamfight Tactics since the very beginning. It is a simple mechanic. All players spawn in and are presented with 9 different champions that all have an item equipped. The bottom two players pick first, then the next two, and so on. Well that doesn't sound that bad, but I would argue it's actually bad for the game and for the player experience as well. And in this video, I will not only explain why I think it's bad for the game and why it should be removed, but I will also provide solutions to all of these problems. TFT is a game about setting up a strategy and drafting a team around that strategy, and with every turn you're faced with different choices you have to make. Which units do you want to pick up and sell, do you want to level or make items, and so on. The carousel does three things. First thing is to give you a choice of which unit to take. Secondly, it provides a social aspect to a single player experience. And thirdly, it gives you a bit more time to think about your overall strategy. The social aspect is probably the most credible argument to keeping the carousel, and I think this clip summarizes it very well. But that said, um, I have always loved the carousel me mechanic. I think it's I think it's it's silly. I think it's crazy, and I think it's one of the best things about TFT because you need things to make your game unique, right? <laughs> No, no, listen, if it was just stage, 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 stage in a row, it'd just be a grind, man. You need those carousel times to, like, emote at people, to go and, like, I need my, like, ping, like, dabbing on people. I need that stuff, you know? So it's, it's, uh, I, I think it's, I think it's great. So I'm, I'm going to disagree with, with, uh, this one. But for me personally, I think the social aspect is sort of irrelevant. When I am at the carousel, I'm not paying attention to the other players. I'm just thinking about what I want to take myself. In addition, once you've taken the item, you have to wait for everybody else. And in that time, you're just scouting other people's boards and also spending this time to rethink your strategy. This is another issue with the carousel, which is that it takes too much time. TFT is already a long game and the carousel makes this even longer. But the most important part of the carousel is that it gives everybody a decision. Which item do they choose to pick up? I think this is a good choice to present to players because there are a couple of different factors that affect what item you will be taking. You can grief or get griefed by other players. Sometimes you take a unit instead of a champion. There's a lot of psychology involved to try and not make other people take the item you want to take. And it also forces you to think on your feet and have a priority in mind so you have a second and third choice in case your first choice gets picked. So let's break these down one by one. First, let's talk about griefing. And for those of you who don't know, griefing is basically to screw over another player. In terms of the carousel, it can be taking a tier when you don't really need it just to make sure that one player who really needs blue buff won't complete it next round. This sounds like an interesting choice, take an item you don't really need to bring another player's chance of winning down drastically, while only hurting yourself a little. Well, a problem with doing this is that in every game of TFT there are 8 players in total, so if you grief one player, you're effectively improving the other 6 players' chance of winning by a lot, while that one player falls behind drastically. And your own odds of winning don't improve unless you actually needed the item yourself. What I'm trying to say is that griefing is something you only do in very specific scenarios that don't happen too often. So whenever you are at the carousel, you always take something that only benefits you. The second factor is sometimes you take a champion instead of the item. This is by far the best and most interesting part about the carousel, as sometimes you can take a really strong unit, but the item on that unit might not be something you need. A great example of this is taking a 4-cost unit at the stage 3 carousel. If you get your 4-cost carry early on, you are in a way better spot to fast 8, but you will also fall behind late game if you have to take a bad component for that champion. This is a choice that is hard and increases the skill gap in TFT in a healthy way, and I have implemented this type of decision making in my own solution for a better carousel later. The next factor is the psychology tricks people use when moving around the carousel. These tricks are probably not as common in lower elos, but they are constantly used in high elo games. For those of you who are not aware, these tricks are usually some form of pretending to take the item another player wants. The goal is to either waste their time to throw them off, or to make them go for another item instead. I hate this part of the carousel, and there's no real way to remove this aspect without removing the carousel entirely. The last factor is that it forces you to think on your feet. This is somewhat linked to the previous points that some players try to throw you off by either directly griefing or pretending to grief you. However, this can be avoided by having a carousel priority in mind. If you don't get the sword, then you take the rod or chain. You just need to have a plan before you get into the carousel in order to avoid this issue. Now there are two other types of carousels in the game. We have the starting carousel and we have the stage 5, 6, and 7 carousels. The starting carousel is just like all the other carousels, but there are only one cost here. And since everyone is 100 HP, every player gets to pick at the same time. So if you want to get your desired component, it's just whoever has the best APM and internet that comes on top. 
There is no choice, no tough decisions, it is just an experience where you sometimes get the item and sometimes you don't. I personally can't tell the difference between when I get my item and when I don't. I spam my keyboard just as hard and fast every time, so it might as well be random to me. And this is why I heavily dislike the starting carousel. The only skill it tests you on is how fast you can smash your keyboard, if you can even call that a skill. Sure, there are ways to give yourself an advantage here, and people have written long guides on how to do it more consistently, but the point I'm trying to hammer home here is that even if there is skill to the starting carousel, it's not a skill the rest of the game tests you on, so it makes no sense to test players' APM and internet skills in a pure strategy game. The stage 5, 6, and 7 carousels are actually not bad. These carousels have mostly full items, so you have to pick whichever one you think will be the best one for your team. You can also never expect which items to show up here, so it's all about thinking on your feet while also having a deep understanding of what your comp needs in order to win. The four factors I mentioned on stage 2, 3, and 4 carousels also apply here, so it still does share a lot of those same issues. Now let's talk about what frustrates me the most about all of these carousels, and it's the fact that the carousel is just a worse version of the armory which was introduced with set 5. Take a look at this carousel. Here I am first pick, so I have a lot of different options, but the player opposite of me has priority on the Tarek through Syndra, while I have priority on the Nocturne through Poppy. This is really frustrating, as it is essentially just an armory where I can sort of choose between all 9 of these, but not really at the same time. And this is the most common frustration about the carousel. I know I'm not alone when I say that spawning in on the wrong side is just a kick in the face and feels terrible, so this whole priority thing, I feel like it just has to go. So let's try to imagine this carousel as an armory. It works exactly the same way, only that 8 people pick from the same armory, so we all share the same 9 options, but some of them are locked out for one player, as they don't have priority. Think of it like some of these armory options are locked out by a timer, that I have to wait a bit for it before I can even pick them. Therefore, I have to spam click the option until it is available, and I have to hope that the other person doesn't pick that option before me. Hopefully you see how frustrating this feels, and also that Riot have already implemented a more successful mechanic that they're not using. So with that said, let's move on to my solution for all these different carousels. First off, I think the starting carousel should just get removed, and then just include the item component and the 1 gold into the PvE drops. I know this might sound a bit extreme, but getting a random component instead of picking is fine when you don't even know what you're playing yet. And like I mentioned, most people feel like it's random which component they get anyway at the starting carousel. Not only does this nerf people who hard force comps literally every game regardless of their openers, but it will also encourage most people to play different comps as they have different item openers. And since some carousels are different with all the force of nature and spatula carousels, you can just have those drop from the PB as well, so players still get that wacky weird experience every once in a while. Now if you want to argue that the starting carousel is important for the social aspect, then you can have everyone spawn on that one island at the start and just kind of emote on each other while the rest of the players are loading in. It can work very similarly to the warm-up stage from games like CSGO. For the stage 2, 3, and 4 carousels, I think they should just be replaced with an additional armory. But here the number of choices you have depends on your total HP. This way people who are low HP get more options than players who are high HP. And it also solves the coin flip problem when multiple people are the same HP number. Say on the stage 2 carousel there are 3 people with 100 HP. Instead of one player winning the coin flip and getting 3rd pick, all of these 3 players get the same number of choices in the armory instead. You could expand upon this and implement rules, like if you are below 80 HP on stage 2 carousel, you might get 8 options. And if you are for example 90 HP, you only get 5. These limits can be implemented in stage 3 and stage 4 carousels as well. Like I mentioned earlier, the stage 5, 6, and 7 carousels are not bad, but again, the bonus armories that got introduced in patch 11.12 do what the stage 5, 6, and 7 carousels already do but in a better way. And this just makes those carousels annoying because we could have it so much better. I know this video is a bit controversial, but this is my opinion and I felt like the carousel mechanics needs to be talked about more. I did ask you guys over on YouTube, and the majority of you think that the carousel is a good thing. I was in this camp for a long time, until I realized we could have it so much better. And that's why I made this video. The feeling I got from the comments was that it's not great, but it's the best we got so far, so we have to stick with it. Also a bonus point that I didn't bring up, but some people mentioned it in the comments on that post as well. 
For mobile players, the carousel is a bit hard to navigate due to the smaller screen, and this is not an issue in Hyperall where they're replaced with armories. So by implementing my system, the game becomes even better on mobile as well. So to sum up, the carousel creates a lot of unpleasant experiences, and the only interesting experiences it creates can be done in better ways. So please, if anyone from Riot is watching, remove the starting carousel and replace the rest of the carousels with armories, because sometimes the carousel mechanic sucks a lot of the fun out of TFT and makes me not want to play the game at times. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, comment and let me know your thoughts about this video. I've never made this kind of video before, so I would love your feedback whether you loved it or hated it. And if you like what I said in this video, and you would like to see my solutions get implemented into the game, share this with your friends and share it with the Riot developers and we might actually see this change get implemented. And if you want to get better at TFT yourself, join the Discord. We got over 3,000 other players there who are hungry to climb. And if you want to get coached by me, the information is over on the Discord server as well. So take care and see you in the next video.